What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wolves here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back with another video. And today I'm wrapping up, reviewing, and giving the results from the 2020 Classic Physique Mr. Olympia, where Chris Bumstead came out on top, won his second Classic Physique Olympia title, tying Brian Ansley on two titles there. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to go from 10th down to 1st and highlight each competitor as I go. So in 10th place, we had Deontre Campbell. Now, Deontre, I've been a big fan of him. He's got some crazy body parts too. He's got massive, massive arms and a really nice shape too. He can sort of pull a vacuum as well. Very, very impressed with Deontre. And I think just more years in the gym and more time doing this, you're going to get even more of those grainy details coming out. And I think that will put him in a higher placing in the classic physique. In ninth, we had Logan Franklin. He was really hyped going into this show because everyone's drawing comparisons between him and Chris Bumstead. And really by looking at him and seeing you know, how he's done the last couple of years and how he's progressing, he's getting there slowly, but he's still definitely not at that level yet. He needs to get, I suppose, more maturity to the muscle and just more hardness, especially from, you know, especially from the front. But when you look at Chris Bumstead and how he looks now, he definitely needs a fair bit more time to um, get to that level or if he even can get to that level. In eighth, we had Divine Wilson and he looked really, really good. Now, I didn't think he had the shape, I suppose, or the mass to the legs to really push for a top, you know, three, four or five. But eighth is a really good spot here for him. He brought the conditioning. He's got actually a lot of muscle and a lot of really dense muscle as well, which earned that eighth place finish. In seventh, we had Ricky Moat. Now, I interviewed Ricky only days out from the 2020 Classic Physique Olympia. And, you know, he really wanted like a top six, but he said top 10. So he sort of was like, you know, he really wants, you know, top 10, but top six will be like next level. Play seventh, but honestly, I thought he was going to be top six based on the call-outs from pre-judging, and I thought it could have warranted it as well. So if he placed one or two spots higher, I would have had no complaint. He's probably one of the most thickly muscled guys in this classic physique. I have no idea how he fits under the weight cap, but he looks absolutely amazing. And I think he actually has a few pounds that he can maybe play with, um, just because he says, you know, when he dries out of water, he actually drops quite a bit of weight. Very impressed with Ricky Moten. He brought great conditioning, great package, and I can't wait to see what he does in the future in the classic physique division. In six, we had Danny Unit, another guy I interviewed prior to the 2020 Classic Physique Olympia. Very, very impressive physique. I've already brought some really good conditioning. Just from the back, he mentioned it. You know, it's just a years thing that he needs to put in more time and I suppose just more years in the gym of just, you know, putting in putting in time in the weight room. And I think eventually he will get there in terms of getting up into the top, you know, four or three, but it's just a time thing for him. And I think that, you know, maybe it's more, a more muscle thing because I know he has more room to move in the classic physique, which is exciting for Danny. And I think, you know, once he sort of caps out that classic physique, unless he's probably winning Olympia titles, he'll probably end up moving up a class either to the 212s or the open, which is exciting. In fifth, we had Brian Jones making his Olympia debut. Really impressive physique. This guy can be definitely winning the Classic Physique Olympia one day. I mean, it's going to be hard with Chris Bumstead because he's, you know, in his 20s, mid-20s, I think, for Chris Bumstead, and he's already winning titles. But I think Chris Bumstead could probably win it for 10 more years. But if someone else is to come in there and unseat him, a guy like Brian Jones might be the guy to actually do it because they have sort of similar heights, sort of similar structures, uh, and Brian Jones is just absolutely freaky. And when I look at Brian, I'm like, how does he fit under the weight cap? But he did fit in there. I saw him weigh in, and... He fitted, so Brian Jones in fifth place, a very impressive debut at the Olympia. In fourth place, we had Alex Cambronero, just a great physique, very balanced. You really look at his physique, nothing sticks out like crazy good or crazy bad. Just a balanced classic physique competitor, very, very impressive. You really can't say too much about him because there's not too much to say in what you point out, what he can work on or what's amazing because everything is just so balanced, and I suppose that is his strength in the classic physique. In third place, now this is where a bit of a shock was. We had Breon Ansley, the two-time Classic Physique Mr. Olympia, slipping this year down to third. He's got to be pretty disappointed, and he only missed out on second by one point to Terence Ruffin. And we'll discuss Terence Ruffin. Looked great. I mean, Terence Ruffin looks great, and he looks like he still might have a little bit of room to move in his Classic Physique as well. So if he can continue to gain muscle, he's going to you know, end up pushing sort of guys like Chris Bumstead. But I think right now that he should just go and win Arnold Classics, um, you know, go compete, do some smaller shows as well, and then focus on the Olympia. But if he can add weight in this class, he is going to be damn tough to beat in any show outside of the Olympia where Chris Bumstead's competing. And then in first, obviously, Chris Bumstead. Apparently, his weight was around the same this year, but he looked like he added a lot of muscle to me. Like when you see him from the back, his back looked bigger, his hamstrings, the way his legs looked just was insane. I mean, I was very impressed with Chris Bumstead, even more impressed when I saw, I suppose, more footage and more photos and more comparisons after I actually did my pre-judging wrap-up of the Classic Physique. Just very, very impressive. And I mean, he's going to be very hard to beat in that Classic Physique Olympia for years to come. So he can just literally compete once a year and just, I suppose, 
kick back and you know do the promotion thing and and work on his physique and just make sure that he's the best he can be to win that classic physique olympia every year and that's got to be a pretty good life there for chris bumstead but it wasn't without controversy i suppose this whole contest as well because in the finals i mean i thought it was going to be brown ansley finish, finishing second based on all the call outs and everything you can see here now these two dudes are posing there you know either side of this box here Breon Anzi, you can see he sort of moves in a little bit, edges a little bit closer to Chris Bumstead. Breon hits his back double bicep. Chris Bumstead does not like that his elbow is in front of his. He sort of goes, I'm going to angle you. And they just sort of do that. And they get in a little bit of a scuffle. Breon says something. And then these dudes, I don't know if they're separated, if they, you know, said Breon and Terrence swap because of that, or if they actually want to compare Terrence in there, because most of the time we're seeing Breon right next to Chris Bumstead. So I don't know if that hurt him in the end. You know, if he lost a point from that, then that means he lost a decent amount of money from having a little elbow tussle. But I don't know if that's what actually put Breon Ansley in third place as opposed to second. But let me know what you think in the comments below about that. And let me know what you think about the whole results as well. Do you have anyone else placing higher than they should have or lower? Let me know in the comments. So that's it from me. For Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell button. We have a heap of Olympia content up right now, and we've got a ton more on the way as well. So that's it for me. For Xavier Wills, Desktop Bodybuilding, we are out.